Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to show you all how to calculate the total expenditure line of a household budget, the net cash line, the opening cash and the closing cash. Okay. So the first thing in this question as you can see I have already completed I suppose most of the budget which most of you are probably able to do at this stage with careful I suppose reading of the question and calculating of the figures so what I find as a teacher is that most people this is where they start to get confused okay how do I calculate the total expenditure how do I get net cash how do I do my opening cash what is closing cash how do I how do I calculate closing cash so that's what we're going to show today okay so in order to calculate the total expenditure what I get my students to do is to label their three subtotals okay so fixed expenditure will give us subtotal one irregular expenditure is going to give us subtotal two and discretionary expenditure is going to give us subtotal three okay and then what I ask my students to do is to write one plus two plus three is going to give us our total expenditure now the three figures that you need are this one, subtotal for September, subtotal for September for irregular expenditure, and subtotal for September for discretionary expenditure. So you're adding your fixed, irregular, and discretionary together to get your total figure, total expenditure figure here. Then you complete the exact same for October, exact same for November, exact same for December, exact same for your total column so i'm going to use my little calculator here which cost me i think around 150 in mr price okay so one one two oh plus one seven five one plus seven seven three equals three six four four three six four four okay for my October total expenditure, I'm going to add these three. For November, it's going to be these three. For December, it's going to be these three. And for my total, the exact same process for your total column, it's going to be these three. Okay, so bear with me now while I add these three or four figures up. So for October, we have 1120 plus 1746 plus 850. equals three seven one six for November it's going to be this plus this plus this one plus two plus three so back to my calculator one one six oh plus one seven eight one plus one one four two equals four zero eight three Okay, for December, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 1184 plus 2806 plus 1200 equals 5190. Now for my total column, it's the exact same process. Subtotal 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4584 plus Eight oh eight four plus three nine six five equals sixteen thousand six hundred and thirty three. So now I have my total expenditure line complete. From earlier, I also have my total income line complete. And notice this is labeled A, total income A, total expenditure B. Now, in order to get your net cash. A minus B. So again, use your calculator when you're allowed. As a teacher, when I'm correcting these, I often find that students attempt to add them in their head and sometimes they get them wrong, okay? So when you're allowed to use a calculator, I'd suggest to use your calculator. So it's going to be 5080 minus 3644 equals 1436. 
Again, total income, 4280 minus 3716 equals 564. For November, 4280 minus 4083 equals 197. For December, income minus expenditure, 4680 minus 5190 equals minus 510. Exact same process with our total um, column. So it's income minus expenditure, 18,320 minus 16,633 equals 1,687. So that's my net cash figure done. That's what I had to spend after I took away my expenditure from my income, okay? Now, the question always arises, how do I get my opening cash? Okay, so what I want you to look at here <coughs> is the question. We must read the question carefully. So this is the 2010 Ordinary Level Business Studies paper. Okay, the following is a budget for the Walsh household for four months, September to December 2010. Opening cash in hand is 325 euro. The opening cash in hand is 325. So when they sat down as a family to plan this budget, they had 325 euro in their hand in September. So we put that figure for down for September. We also put 325 down for our total column because this budget is a plan into the future. And at the time of them planning this budget, they had 325. So that goes into the total column as well. Okay, now next line is going to be our closing cash. And the question always arises in class, how do I calculate my closing cash? So here we go. I'm going to add our uh, net cash plus our opening cash. So it's going to be one, four, three, six, plus three, two, five, to give me 1,761, okay? and. What I, I'm going to get my, my different color pen now and the rule always is your closing cash in one month is the opening cash of the next month so I transfer that up 1761 and again we're going to add these together so it's 564 plus 1761 equals 2325 two, okay I'm going to get my different color buyer again Draw a little arrow up. Closing cash of one month is the opening cash for the next month. Two, three, two, five. And again, you add them together. Plus one, nine, seven equals two, five, two, two. Same process. Closing cash of one month is the opening cash of the next month. Okay, so it's going to be minus 510 plus. 2522 and that's going to give us 2012 now when we get to this section the very last column at the very last cell we already have 325 in our opening cash line so it's the same process you add your net cash and opening cash so it's going to be 1687 plus 325 equals 2012 Okay, and we know when this figure matches this figure that we've done our budget correctly. But as I've said to my students in class before, if these don't match, don't worry about it until the end of your exam because you get one half mark, a half a mark for every correct figure that you do. Okay, so if you have some spare time at the end of your exam, you might have time to go back and look for your, your, your mistake, but more often than not, you won't have time, but not to worry. So this video, again, was a little tutorial on how to calculate your total expenditure, adding subtotal 1, 2, plus 3, how to calculate your net cash, which is total income minus total expenditure, 
how do we calculate our opening cash? Firstly, you read the question to get your opening cash in hand, and this goes in this first month and the total column. Following this, the closing cash of one month becomes the opening cash of the next month. And finally, how do we calculate our closing cash? We add our net cash plus our opening cash to get our closing cash. Okay, I hope you found this video useful and please feel free to comment underneath. Thanks very much.